Hello, I'm Krissa from A-List English, our school in Thessaloniki and in today's lesson we'll be doing more homophones. Let me um, explain what homophones are. They are words, usually it's two, maybe sometimes three, but we're going to focus on two words that have exactly the same pronunciation but have different spellings and different meanings all together, completely. Okay, let's start. Today's letter will be the H. Sometimes the H is silent, but sometimes it's heard. Let's go to the first uh, couple of words we have here. The first word is hair, and again, hair. I'm sure everybody knows this. It's the hair we have on our head. It is an uncountable word. We say, my hair is brown. Okay, and hair here is an animal. It is a countable noun. For example, we can say one hair, two hairs. It looks like a rabbit, but I think it's bigger. Not sure, but I think it's slightly bigger. So it's in that, um, it's an animal, a hair. Okay, the pronunciation as you can hear is exactly the same. Let's move on to the next two words. Hanger, hanger. They are exactly the same. What is a hanger? A hanger is a place where uh, aircraft are kept, airplanes. Okay, it's like a parking lot or a big building where they put airplanes and they, they keep them there when they are not being used. That is a hanger. Rich people have private hangars and they keep their um, airplanes there. What about this hanger? This everybody has a hanger or many hangers at home. It is um, a curved structure um, with a hook on top with, which uh, we use uh, to hang our clothes. So we put our jacket on the hanger and we hang it inside our wardrobe. Okay. Um, so this is a hanger, we have plenty of those at home, they could be wooden or plastic, we use it to hang our coats or anything else. Moving on to the third set of words, heel, this is a verb, heel, heel is a noun, well mostly. So this is a verb and this is mostly a noun. When something heals, for example, let's say I have a wound on my skin. I have cut myself and um, a little bit of blood has come out. So I have, um, it hurts now. But with uh, the passing of time, this wound will heal. It will be all right again and it will not hurt so much. So to heal means to become better. We use it for, heart, for wounds or we use it for broken hearts. You say, my heart is hurting right now. I'm, uh, um, I'm sad, I'm, um, I'm in pain, but in time it will heal, it will be strong again. So we use this literally for wounds, metaphorically for your heart, which is aching. This heal, this is the part of your foot not where the toes are, but the other part of your foot, the, the back part of your foot. So you have heel, uh, your heel and then your uh, toes. So this is uh, the part of the foot, your heel. As you know, Achilles heel. If you remember Achilles heel, it was uh, his uh, uh, weak spot. It was the only spot in his body where someone could uh, hurt him. So if I say this is my Achilles heel, it, it means it's my weakness, okay? But also another meaning of the word heel is what women wear. Uh, they wear shoes with high heels, okay? Or stiletto heels. So a heel is your foot, the part of your foot, but it's also the shoe which makes women look taller. Moving on to this, heard, heard. In British uh, the R would be less stressed. You would say heard, heard. It wouldn't be so obvious. 
Um, this is the past tense of the word hear. I hear you. It means I have ears so I can hear you. And I heard what you said. It's the past tense. We're talking about the past. So this is a verb in the past simple. I heard something. The noise. Now this is a noun. So this is a verb and this is a noun. A herd of elephants is a group of elephants that live together or walk around together. We use a herd of cows. Cows are other animals. Um, so we usually we use herd for animals, although we can also use it for people. Um, it's not a nice way to, to call people, you know, moving them in a herd, but the, you can use it to say that they all uh, move together without, without having an opinion of their own, in a way. Okay? This is one of my favorite pairs. Um, air and air. Everybody knows this air. It's the air we breathe, the atmosphere, the, the oxygen we have around us is the air we breathe. But what is this air? I'm going to have to show you by giving you an example. If I say that he is the air to, you should remember the preposition is to, he is the heir to a large fortune, it means that he's going to inherit, he's going to get all this money. Fortune is a lot, lots of money or houses. So you get a fortune, uh, you inherit a fortune when somebody dies. So if I am the heiress, for a woman we don't say heir, we say heiress. If I'm the heiress to a large fortune, it means I am going to inherit all this money or houses or property anything you can also use air uh, when you talk about uh, queens and princes you can say Prince uh, so-and-so Prince Charles is the heir to the throne to the British throne or something like that okay we're going to move on to the next uh, group we have over there this is a nice one too it's nice and funny horse horse I'm sure you know what a horse is, this one here. Uh, it's the animal, horse. Uh, I cannot explain. I think you all know that the big animals we go, we ride a horse. So this is a noun, a horse. And this is an adjective. If I say my voice is a little hoarse today, it means that I'm uh, I'm having difficulty speaking, my voice is changing because I have a cold or a flu or I've had too much to drink and now my voice is a little hoarse. It makes me want to cough or uh, I cannot speak very well. Okay, so this is, a, this is an adjective. You can also say I am a little hoarse today. It doesn't mean you're a little hoarse. It means <laughs> You're coming down with something. Something is um, uh, bothering you, your throat. Moving on to hole and hole. Hole is a little uh, round thing in which, I don't know, you put things in. You put things in the hole. Uh, okay, it's an empty, hollow space which uh, needs to be filled or something. Okay, hole. This means the entire, entire. For instance, the whole family came to the wedding. Ma the whole world came. Uh, well, the, whole, um, the whole school passed the exams. Everybody, you know what this means. And also, I'm sure you know what this means. This is a word that um, you may be unfamiliar with. And this too, hoard, hoard. This one is a verb. So we would say to hoard. When you hoard things, it means you collect them and you store them somewhere in your house. And you collect and collect, you keep collecting things. Um, for example, uh, some people 
uh, are compulsive hoarders, which means they never throw away things. Um, they keep buying things which they never use, but they, they still collect them. Hoarding is a, um, it's like a psychological um, disorder. Uh, to say that it's, it's a problem for some people because because they don't throw away things so they hoard things they collect them and um, an animal um, may hoard the ants hoard uh, food during the summer what they do is they collect food they hoard it and they store it in holes and holes these kinds of holes and they use this food in the winter so Ants, you know, the little insects, are hoarders. Okay, now, hoard has the same pronunciation as you can see. This means large groups of people, usually. For instance, we say um, hordes of tourists arrived uh, for the summer season. Hordes of people means a large number of people all going in the same direction or flooding a place, overwhelming a place. So you can see that there is no connection, there is no semantic connection. The me semantic means the meaning is not the same, only the pronunciation is the same. And the last one is really easy, everybody knows this. The hour is um, what time, for example, uh, what is the hour that we're going to meet, what time? And hour is the possessive pronoun, for example, my, your, my book, your book, this is our classroom, it belongs to all of us, it's our classroom. And this is the end of the homophones we have selected for the letter H. As you can see, some of them are heard and some of them are silent. And uh, this is the end of the lesson. We'll uh, see each other soon, I hope. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye for now.